Write the rate equation for the reaction. We can recall that our rate equation is this, where our reactant side are negative and our product side are positive. Before we begin, we need to make sure that the equation is balanced, which it is not. So I'm going to go ahead and balance that. You can always check what you're balancing by writing out everything that you have. Okay, so on this side we have two sodium. And on this side we have two sodium. On this side we have one carbon. On this side we have one carbon. On this side we have three oxygen. On this side we have one, two, three oxygen. On this side we have two hydrogen. On this side we have two hydrogen. And lastly, we have two chloride and two chloride. So that means this is balanced. Now we can move on to writing our rate equation. We're going to be following that example. Since this is an understood one at the beginning of it, as is this one and this one, it isn't necessary that we write this in the rate equation. We want to simplify it as much as we can. So our rate equals... We can forget about that one. We can use this as our A. Just remember that's going to be negative. This one we can forget about, as well as this one. And this one we'll use as our B and remember that it's positive. So our rate equals negative 1 times the change in the concentration of HCl divided by 2 delta T equals a positive 1 change in the concentration sodium chloride divided by 2 delta T. And this is your rate equation.